up YouTube, Mr. Xcam here. Today we're going to be playing some more Stormworks Build and Rescue. And today, we're going to be building a steam locomotive with the new train wheels from the update that just came out recently. And based on the last video I posted, many people wanted me to make a tutorial on how to make a train with the new steam engines. Uh, not engines, wheels. <laughs> Steam engines, that'd be funny. All right, first of all, you wanna head to a train station. There should be one at North Harbor, there should be one at Terminal, Spy Cakes, Komodo, Donk. Once you're in there, you're gonna start with the block. I wanna make a steam locomotive that has four piston engines. So like two in the front, so you have a bogey in the front, pistons, wheels, pistons, wheels, and then you have your cab. First of all, I wanna, I wanna start with getting a wheel. Let's grab large train wheel assembly A. Large train wheel assembly A, yeah. And then I wanna grab a bogey. I want one that fits perfectly with the train. To make it look odd, I feel like that will do. So what you want to do, I'm gonna not make a full train, but maybe in a later video I'll update the train. So your your truck's gonna be down here. You want to build as close to the ground as you can. Try to go up to there. Make sure the positive is pointing outwards. I'm gonna delete that. Get yourself a piston, whatever one you want. I'm gonna do a medium. But before I place the piston, I wanna know where I'm gonna be placing these. So I can go down one more block with this. There you go. But I want room for the piston. I'm gonna place down three wheels. Make sure the Pluses are facing forward. Grab your piston. Make sure it's in the correct location. Because if not, then the links aren't going to be connected properly. I don't know if they vary in height, but just make sure they're placed properly. Spawn it in. That's are annoying. Seems like it's not connected. So I'm going to grab a large piston drive. Now it should connect properly. Oh, would you look at that? Some people may have problems with this, but sometimes you got to place it in the most awkward position there is. Sometimes you got to like kind of mess around with it. System. And if you if it's not connected, then you should probably read this one. Activate to reverse flip. Don't care. I just to read it once. Connect the train wheel assembly piston or another steam train. All right, that didn't help. So since this is going completely 
odd. I'm gonna place it upside down. Hmm. Seems like it won't connect. But usually it should connect. I don't know why it's not connecting. I want to make sure what size this is. This is a large. And it really shouldn't matter what pistons you uh, use. Because somewhere it should connect. And if somehow you don't understand it, then you can always look at the, the preset or a preset. This one you have to place upside down. That part has to go, has to line up with that. All right, so once you get that info, you can load back your auto save or test. Place it upside down. Spawn it in. Make sure it connects. Give it a push. And there you go. Now, we can, we can duplicate this. Again. Connect them together. Merge. And there you go. Now, I'm only going to do the bare minimum. I'm going to create a cab. I'm gonna have your firebox. You can use a large or a small one, doesn't matter. You have your coolant, exhaust, air. This is gonna flow into a boiler. And then you can have your condenser. Water out, steam in. And there you go. Yeah, you have the bare minimum. But you might need more components like a radiator. So I'm going to add some radiators. And after you get that, you can grab some ports. You can use an air filter for the air intake. For the firebox. <coughs> and then, make sure you grab some pipes, a variety of pipes, because they are your friend. I'm going to have the exhaust port go out, your coolant. So make sure you grab a tank. I would use a medium tank. Doesn't matter which tank you use. Make sure it's put on fresh water. If not, then yeah. 
So what you want to do is connect coolant B. That's where all the hot water is going to go. Connect them together. That's going to go in. To your firebox. Now that you connected them together, you can take the coolant out, connect it to your tank that's storing all the water, connect the tank up onto your boiler coolant A. Now you have your stuff connected together. Now you want to connect your your boilers, condensers, pistons, all that together. I'm going to start with the radiator. What I'm going to do is link these radiators together so that You can get them, the fluid can be as cold as possible. So I want the intake to go through. Yeah, what a setup like this, you have to be weary of how it should connect. So you can have it go through there, you have it come through the bottom, up there, and around. That's my plan. Have that one go down. Doesn't matter which way, it just has to flow. And then you can connect this one to your condensers. What the, condenser, what the condensers will do is it will turn all the hot steam into your water, usable water. Well, what I kind of made a little error. Don't connect your your pistons to the radiators because this is actually going to be a separate fluid line. What you want to do is grab your tank, place it wherever, make sure the ports are lined up together. and connect the tank to the condensers. Set this one to water as well. There we go, now we got our coolant flowing through. Now we just need to set up steam. This one's going to be steam out. So we want to connect these together. This is where the fluid will, the steam will go. So grab your pipe cross, turn on your X-spline, connect your pipes to your to your pistons. So steam in.
do the same for here. Steam in. And for steam out, what you want to do is kind of do the same thing. But I'm going to go one block out here. Go in. Connect the pipes. One, two. You want to connect them to the steam in. Water out, water out. Steam in. So connect your pistons to both of your condensers that say fluid in. Kind of a tedious process when you're in a really tight space. So what I'm going to do is take advantage of this tight space and run a pipe through it. You can take a G piece, connect them there, go here, up, come across, and put a T piece. Connect it to the fluid end. Now you do the same thing for the other side. You could tee off of this. Tee these together. And the steam is going into your condensers. Water out. What you want to do is take these, put them together. Go up. Go across. Turn that off because it's not needed. You connect one of those in. T piece. And there you go. Now you have everything connected. What we want to do. Now is set up your throttle, your ignition. So create something here. I'm gonna put a lever or actually no, we're gonna have a button, a push button to ignite. And then for electric, you want to grab a battery, preferably a medium one if you want. You could put a large one. I'm going to use two, so I have plenty of electricity to use throughout the train. Your ignition's connected. Brakes, nothing's needed. I'm going to have a constant on signal. The reason I'm going to put a constant on signal is for the radiator fans. Now that they're connected, you can have a toggle button we're going to label these reverse. This one's going to be ignite. Reverse is going to go into your piston drive reverse. Connect your electric. And there you go. Now you have the whole thing set up. But there's still one problem. If we're going to have it like this, there's going to be some overpressure in the boilers. Because, you know, Stormworks and their overpressure. So, for steam out, what 
Oh, hold on. Overpressure occurs when there's too much fluid in the system. Or fluid steam pressure in the boilers, which causes it to explode. What you could do is link them off, have a valve. Angle them up. Take your on and off valve. And put a port. But I want to save on water. So what you could do. Link, uh, link these two together. And connect them to your condensers. Water out. Steam in. Take the steam. And connect it to one of your steam lines. And I have it connected here. Actually, no. You want the most optimal steam flow. So I'm going to put it here. Sure, it's really far away, but in the long run, it could uh, help you. Connect these two together. Also connect this together. Take your electricity, put it into the valves. I want to use something to turn on these on and off. So, we're going to have a threshold gate. We're going to connect that to, I don't know, maybe, actually no, we're going to have two threshold gates. One for each boiler. Probably some way you guys could maybe connect these two get together. We're going to have the pressure from both boilers. Then we're going to have valves there. And we're going to say, high of threshold can be as high as it could, as high as you want. The boiler explodes maybe at a pressure of 10. So I want to be careful and do maybe an 8.5 of amount of pressure. So when, it, when the pressure reaches 8.5, the valves are going to open, and the steam is going to flow into the condenser. Now, you could add some pumps or flow valves. I'm going to add a, uh, some pumps to help increase flow. This is going to steam out. And this is going to steam in. And then here. Colon in, and then colon out. And we want all the exhaust to go out. Now, we can connect our constant on signals to our pumps. Now that they are connected, take your electric and connect our batteries. 
But we're not batteries. Haha. <laughs> Pumps. They are connected. Ki mm, I can't freaking speak today. They are now connected together. What I'm going to do now. Let's grab your bogeys. Make sure the arrow is pointing forward. Make sure it's as low as it can go. Now we test. I'm gonna lower the sound. Make sure infinite fuel is on, and which it is. Infinite electric should be on as well. We're gonna ignite. Temperature should be rising. Temperature should be rising insanely quickly. Coolant is flowing perfectly through the system. Once the temperature exceeds 100, the train should get going. And there you go. Your train should be going. Now that you have your train, you can now do whatever you want with it. You can add a nice looking boiler, you can redo your pipes, you can redo the cab, you can do anything you want with it. That's perfect. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope this tutorial helped you. If it did, make sure you hit the like button, comment down below that it helped you. And also comment down below if you need any more assistance, if you need help with figuring out what to do. If you're making any mistakes, ask me how to solve it. I will gladly help you. And if you're new here, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And yeah, it's good to see you all again. This is X, peace.